So following on from some of the earlier videos, we were trying to understand why it is that when you differentiate a unit's tangent, a unit's tangent, it will give you a new vector, and this new vector is always orthogonal to the unit tangent, not the tangent, not this tangent. So you trying to understand, uh, you trying to understand this is is really the same as you trying to understand this. Why is it that when you take the dot product of the derivative um, with the original vector, it's always orthogonal to each other. So, um, so us trying to understand this, so, so we, we, we are trying to understand the proof. But then in order for us to understand the proof, we need to understand this, and which we've done this. Um, we, we've already done this. So in this video, we're going to try and understand what it means to differentiate a dot product. What does that even mean? So in order for us to understand the proof, we need to understand this step. So let's let's try and understand what what it means to to take the derivative of the dot product. Okay, so so suppose you have two vectors. Suppose so so we are trying to understand what it means to differentiate a dot product of two vectors. So let's say you've got two vectors, one vector here and another vector. So you can visualize the same thing as it, you can visualize it in this form here. One vector dot it with another vector. So it would be this times this, which is this, and then plus this times this, which we can then give you this, and then plus this times this, which will then give you this. So taking the dot product of two vectors, um, so sorry, differentiating the, um, the dot product of two vectors is the same as you differentiating this thing here. Because, because this, the dot product, and then it, the dot product boils down to to, these, to you adding up these three, which is you trying to differentiate this thing here. So you differentiating these two would be the same as you trying to differentiate these three. So um, so now, hang on. So now, now, uh, now if you differentiate this, um, re remember um, each, remember u1 is really the component, u1, and v1 is really the component of the second vector and so on. So you trying to differentiate this, this whole thing here would well, you you have to use the the, um, the product rule here. So you differentiate the first, leave the second alone. So you differentiate the first, leave the second alone, and then plus still. So basically, different using the um, the product rule that will differentiate it. It will then give you this, and then looking at this, use the use the uh, product rule to differentiate this. That will then give you this. Use the product rule to differentiate this. That will then give you this. So now um, group all these together. Group all these together. So that will then give you this whole thing here. And then group all these together. That will then give you these three here. So now um, that's the same as you. That's the same as you. Um, well, you, you, you can rewrite this thing here as this. Because uh, because if you look at this, just, just looking at these three here. So... Uh, well, when you take the product of two, two, two vectors here, it would be this times this, which will then give you this, and then plus this times this, that will then give you this, and then plus this times this, that will then give you this. And then this, these three here can be written as these two vectors here. So this times this will then give you this, this times this, that will then give you this, and so on. Well, this thing here is this, u, u prime u prime here. Well, this thing here is this. This thing here is this. So you differentiating the dot product, whatever that may mean, really boils down to you uh, doing this. Okay. So we will continue in the next video.